blessed moment to all believers in the Messiah. Grace be to you and peace from the Almighty Creator our Father and from the Messiah our Master, who is the head of the glorious church. Today, let us acknowledge and magnify the Almighty Creator, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as He has chosen us in Him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before Him in love. We bless His name today, because He has predestined us unto the adoption of children by His Son, according to the good pleasure of His will, to the praise of the glory of His grace, wherein He has made us accepted in the Beloved, we thank him today for the mighty work which he did according to his mighty power that he demonstrated in christ the messiah when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come and has put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church which is his body the fullness of him that fills all in all we bless his name from this time onwards and even forevermore amen with steadfast and grateful hearts we continue to focus on what the creator is doing in our time so that while applying ourselves to his principles and commands we may have our testament in our time in today's lesson we want to highlight what it means to be known by the creator of heaven and earth when we speak of being known by the Creator, it goes way beyond the Creator just being aware of your existence on earth. It speaks of the very deep relationship that the Creator has with His people because they demonstrate love for Him by keeping His commandments and doing His will. This is emphasized in 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 3, where it states, But if any man loves God, the same is known of him. And likewise in John chapter 14, verses 23 to 24, where it reads, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man loves me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. He that loves me not, keeps not my sayings. And the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. To further emphasize this point, let us look at Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23, where the Messiah highlighted what will unfold when we stand before him on that day. And it reads, Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name have done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. So, calling on the name of the Messiah, demonstrating your gifts and abilities, and being faithful in your attendance to every service that is kept in your church, is not a sign that the creator of heaven and earth knows you he only knows his people that do his will this truth is also emphasized in luke chapter 13 verses 23 to 28 where it states then said one unto him lord are there few that will be saved and he said unto them strive to enter in at the straight gate for many i say unto you will seek to enter in and shall not be able when once the master of the house is risen up and has shut to the door and you begin to stand without and to knock at the door saying lord lord open unto us and he shall answer and say unto you i know you not whence you are then shall you begin to say we have eaten and drunk in thy presence and thou hast taught in our streets but he shall say, I tell you, I know you not whence you are. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, when you shall see Abraham, and Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets, in the kingdom of God, and you yourselves thrust out. 
as highlighted by Luke. Many will declare the acquaintance they had with the Messiah and his numerous teachings, but that just will not suffice. Hearing his words only and not doing them will just place us in the category of the unknown. In John chapter 10, verses 14 to 15, 25 to 29, the Messiah uses the analogy of a shepherd and his sheep in explaining what it means to be known by the Creator when he said, I am the good shepherd and know my sheep, and I am known of mine. As the Father knows me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Jesus answered them, I told you, and ye believe not. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. But you believe not, because you are not of my sheep. As I said unto you, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. So his people that are known by him are clearly the ones who not only hear his voice, but are keen in obeying and following his footsteps. Finally, the people that are known by the Creator are those which have entered in at the straight gate and narrow way, which leads to everlasting life. It is this way that very few people find. It can easily be missed because it will surely take spiritual eyes to see it. Sadly, many have chosen the wide gate and broad way that leads to destruction. This is highlighted in Matthew chapter 7, verses 13 to 14. In closing, as believers, let us examine ourselves on a daily basis. Let us strive to be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one mind, and live in peace, so that the Creator of love and peace can remain with us. Remember, being known by the Creator is a spiritual thing. Let us therefore ask ourselves these questions. Am I known by the Creator in the Spirit? Am I truly walking in obedience to His commands? Or am I too busy indulging myself in my own carnal desires? Let us be mindful of what 1 John chapter 2, verse 17 says. And the world passes away, and the lust thereof. But he that does the will of the Creator abides forever. Thanks for listening. We hope that you were blessed by today's message. Remember to share this lesson with a fellow believer. Encourage them also to subscribe to our channel for other inspiring lessons. Have a blessed and productive day.